Philosophy of Hinduism by Baba Sahib Amrikar Question 5, Part 10 The consequence arising from this was well expressed in the Hindu theological formula, according to which if there was a conflict in the rules of two Vedas on the same subject, it meant option for the rule of Vedas cannot be deemed to be inoperative. On the other hand, in a conflict between a rule of Shruti and a rule of Smriti, the rule of Shruti prevailed because for the reasons stated above, Smriti was inferior in authority to the Shruti. But as pointed out by Professor Altiker, the Smritis in course of time came to be invested with the same authority as belonged to the Vedas. Various means were adopted to accomplish this purpose. In the first place, the authors of the Smritis were elevated to the status of Rishis. The early Dharma Shastra writers like Gautama and Bodhayana were never given the status of a Rishi. But Manu and Yajna Valkya were reckoned as Rishis. By this means, the status of the Smritis was equated to those of the Shrutis. The second means adopted was to regard the Smriti as the record from memory of a Shruti which was lost. Thus, Smriti, instead of being regarded as something quite different from a Shruti, came to be regarded as akin to and indistinguishable from Shruti. The result of these two steps was a complete change in the rules regarding the authority of the two. Originally, if there was a conflict between a Smriti and a Shruti, the Shruti prevailed. The new rule, that in case of a conflict, there was an option which meant that the Smriti rule was as operative as the rule of Shruti. This new rule has been expressly laid down by Kumarela in his commentary on the Purva Memansa Shustra, whereby the Smritis were made as authoritative as the Shrutis. The End